we began with a home of lush green forests, animals, and plants. In the documentary A Beautiful Planet, Academy Award-winning actress Jennifer Lawrence describes the state of our planet then and now. Great forests once covered much of the island of Madagascar. You can see how many of them are gone. Without tree roots to anchor it, the red soil oozes downhill, clogging the rivers and vanishing into the sea. Film footage taken from space shows the Greenland ice sheet melting at an alarming rate. The meltwater flows down under the ice and out into the ocean. If the whole ice sheet were to melt, sea levels could rise six meters. As the level rises, low-lying coastal areas will submerge. The city of New Orleans could be gone. And while in the daytime, humanity can only be perceived through its effect on nature, at night, one can clearly see civilization. You can spot famous cities like Amsterdam, Brussels, the capital of Russia, Moscow, the vibrant cities of Japan, Osaka, Nagoya, and Tokyo. To get this footage, the crew used a new generation of IMAX cameras, much lighter than those bulky ones used for previous space documentaries, such as Tony Meyer's Hubble 3D. And though the iconic filmmaker was not at the space station to actually direct the filming of A Beautiful Planet, she was the one who taught the astronauts how to film. One thing I wanted to do in the film was um, uh, draw the analogy between the space station as a closed system and the Earth as a closed system. Both of them have, have to have uh, all the things we need to stay alive, air, water, uh, food. Only on the space station you get resupply ships and the underlying message of the film is that Earth doesn't get resupply ships. Her message, don't dream of colonizing planets eons away clean house instead, take care of Earth's natural beauty, its fragile atmosphere, because if it dies, we die with it. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.